What is up guys this is Tiro back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you how can you get the ANX camera mostly working on the latest Evolution X ROMs or any other like Android 12 L ROMs which actually supports the ANX. A lot of people have been asking me in the past couple of days that how can you get the ANX camera and no ROM as of now comes with the ANX camera pre-included in a custom ROM itself or for the Redmi K20 Pro at least. So yeah, that's kind of disappointing for the Redmi K20 Pro, but yeah, you have to install the ANX camera separately. But here, today I'll show you how can you get it working in Android 12 L. Of course, I'll do it with the help of Magisk and stuff. So do stay tuned for the video. And yes, I have already installed the ANX camera. And as you can see, once I open it, it's, it's working perfectly fine. And if you switch to the front camera and stuff, everything is working almost super great. But I'll show you how can you get it working mostly. So yeah, all the features doesn't work of ANX. But let me actually show you the about section of this ROM, which like I'm using. So currently I am on the Evolution X version 6.2.2 for Rafael. And here we have the latest security patch, April 5th, 2022. And if you want to look at the build date, this is the 5th April 2022 build. If you are noticing on the build date section. But still, this is not the latest build as of right now because as you can see, there is already a newer update and here it shows decrypted users will need to flash DFE or something like that. So yeah, I will probably flash this build as of right now on top of this one, even when I have ANX camera installed. Also, I do have Magisk installed over here. This is the latest version of Magisk. If you're noticing, this is the 24.3 version of Magisk. So I'll install it on top of the latest update. So actually, in this video, you can also see how can you update ROM when you have Magisk installed on Android 12. So right now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna reboot to the recovery first. So just let's click on advanced and then recovery. You can see this is the R11.1 underscore 4. This is a stable build of the Orange Fox recovery for the Redmi K20 Pro. And with this build, I'm gonna proceed and let's just go to home and let's go to files. And here, this is the latest build of the Evolution X that I want to flash or I want to update. And I am on this particular build right now. So I will update to this one. So let me actually show you how can you do that. I didn't wipe anything at all over here. You don't need to wipe anything if you are already using the ROM or if you have already booted to the ROM. So right now, first I'm gonna select the firmware and you don't have to do this, but I'm just like showing you if there is a new firmware update, how can you update the ROM itself when already there is a newer firmware update. So you just flash the recommended firmware for the ROM. And as you can see right now, I'm gonna flash this 99 MB Android 11 kind of firmware, which is there for the Redmi K20 Pro. And here I'll just select that then I'll just add to Q then I'll select this Evolution X ROM which I want to flash this is the latest build and then I'll click on add to Q again and then I'm gonna flash the disable DM Verity Force encrypt so this is the zip file you need to flash if you are a decrypted user and I am a decrypted user that's why I'm flashing this so I'll just uncheck this reboot after installation because I will also flash Magisk over here so let's just swipe to install and wait for the time being so now, as you can see, the flashing procedure is done. Now let's assume if you don't have Magisk in your ROM, you can also follow the process that I'm going to do right now. So just head back to the home, then go back where you have the Magisk APK. And here I'll just select this and we have the Magisk 24.3 right here. This is the APK, so I'll just select that. And I'll also select the reboot after installation is complete here because this is the last step I need in the recovery. So yeah, I'll just flash this the magisk version 24.3 right now and it's being flashed right now the as the flashing is done it's rebooting if you're noticing here it shows it's finishing the update but as i already had the anx camera installed this is why you are seeing this anx camera file right here but for you it won't appear of course so yes after flashing the magisk you will find this magisk right here or once you're trying to open this magisk from your app drawer it may try to install it on your storage so yeah you have to install it from here and then if you open it let me actually show you that this is how it should look now from the settings let me actually show you if you scroll down more you will find this zgisk and that's new the earlier there used to be magisk hide but in the 24.3 a lot has changed and here you will enable this zgisk over here you have to enable it if you want to have safety net working or banking apps working otherwise you will get safety net failed so as you can see i have enabled this and then from the configure deny list you will like enable all the banking apps or stuff that you want to use 
which actually requires safety net. I have locked this GP and stuff. So yeah, you have to enable these ones just like this. And right now, let me show you one more thing. You will also need this safety net fix zip. I'll also link it below if you want it. So yeah, from Magisk, you have to flash this module. Let me actually show you from here inside Magisk. You will go to the modules, then install from storage, and then you will just flash this safety net fix. And after a reboot, you will get your safety net working. So yeah, that's about the safety net, but you are also required to install the Anix camera of course. So for that, go to your download folder and from here you have to first install the MIUI core. For that, I have already downloaded the MIUI core and there are a lot of different versions. So yes, this is the MIUI core version that I have installed. This is the MIUI core magisk module, here it shows. And the build date, you can notice from the build date from right here of course, it says 2022 325. And this is the 25th March build of MIUI core, I guess. So this is the version, it's about 17 MB. So this is the one you should flash. So yes, first things first, you need to flash the MIUI core. After that, you can add more zip and then flash the ANX camera version 190R. And this also I will link, this is the 445 MB version of the ANX camera version 190R. And once you have done both the installation, it will look like this as you are noticing. I have the MIUI code. This is the version 4 beta 1. Here it shows. Also, I have installed the ANX camera version 190R. After that, when you reboot, you will see the ANX camera showing up right here. Then you can open it and this is how it will look or you can set it up as you want to. There is the 9 to 16 or 1 to 1 or full kind of photo resolution. And if you go into the settings, this is how the settings will appear. And of course, you can customize the settings and you can adjust the volume shutter or something like that. And yes, the front camera is working, but there is a bug that the portrait mode will not work. Yes, the front camera portrait, as you can see, it's broken completely. Even the normal portrait, if you're noticing, it's broken. In the video settings, if you go and here, you will only find 1080p 30fps option. So the 4K 30fps or 60fps both are missing from right here because I think it's not compatible with Android 12 kind of, but I'm not really sure about the reason of it, but you will only get up to 1080p 30fps and that's fine, I guess. So yes, the 2x telephoto lens is actually working but the ultra wide angle lens is not working over here as you can see so this is another bug but in the anx camera if you switch to the pro mode you won't find this video option right here so if you want to have this video option and if you want to shoot pro 1080p 60fps videos with the white balance iso changing you can actually do that but for that you have to download another app and that is this anx camera pro app let me actually show you you have to download this anx camera pro from play store and once you download it, just open it. And for that particular pro video feature, you have to search video over here. Then from here, as you can see, there are a lot more options, but here, just click on this pro video ISO 6400, then make it true, then just click on save. Afterwards, once you close and open the ANX camera, you will see that pro video mode right here. So yes, you get the pro video mode, but the bummer is you don't get the shutter speed choosing option. So it may change your exposure or something like that. You only get this EV option, but yes, there is no shutter speed changing option as of right now over here. Earlier in Android 11 ROMs, you could enable it, but I don't see those options. Also the 4K 60 FPS option is not present over here as of right now. So yes, that's how it is. But yes, you can of course shoot 10 to be 60 FPS videos. That's not a problem. So yes, this is the process that you, if you want to get the ANX camera on Android 12 L ROMs like the Evolution X, you can definitely get it by this process, which I just showed you. And yes, it may not work in all the Android 12 L ROMs, but yes, it does work in ROMs like which are supported like the Evolution X ROMs and stuff with ANX camera working fine. And also if you want to install the Gcam and stuff, they should be working of course great. And yeah, right now Gcam and ANX camera both are present over here. And if you want to look at the safety net right now, even when I have Magis flashed, let me actually show you that for the proof. It passes a safety net test after like flashing the safety net fix and stuff with Magis. And yes, I have actually shot a video for this channel of course on the Redmi K20 Pro with the Pro video mode and that worked super fine. So let me in the comments what do you guys think about this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tuto from KDNDX signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.